used to believe We were burning on the edge of something beautiful Something beautiful Selling a dream Smoking mirrors keep us way Alrighty guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first ever unboxing of a golf club. Long story short, apologies, I've come straight from a week of baseball, so I'm pretty much in my baseball attire. I'm hot and sweaty, um, but I'm excited to open up this uh, package right here. Um, I sold my Mizuno Blade MP37 clubs, well, I sold the two iron, and then I was left with the three iron to pitching wedge, and I put them up on the Facebook page by sell swap. And a guy from down in Melbourne offered to swap me a driver for him. So I'll get into the specs of the driver later, but basically it's a Japanese brand. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. Um, all I know is that it's comparable to the M1. So, um, but I have done some research on what the guy said. It actually is quite true that most of the good quality stuff in the Japanese domestic market, the JDM market, is quite good, quite high in quality. So I'm actually quite intrigued. It actually has a Quite expensive shaft with it, uh, with it, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing, and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. So uh, I don't know where the hell to start. Um, I'll just go at the end. All right. And I've got to be careful with box because uh, I'm using to send back the set to him. So here we go. First things first, we've got a House of Forged Grip. It is a 2AD stiff shaft, graphite design. So this is quite expensive shaft from what I understand. So, oh wow. Jeez, look at that. It's a, an Akira, A-K-I-R-A. Let's see if we can get that to you. The face itself is pretty mint. There's no Sky marks or idiot marks. Um, so it says on here it's a prototype. A prototype. What's a prototype? It's one word, but it looks like in Japan it might be two. I don't know. Comment by. Uh, special made for tournament players. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, forged body and forged cup face. Uh, two weights in the back. Uh, it's model H209. Um, apparently it's an inch longer than standard, according to the guy I got it from. So, all in all, it's quite a nice looking club. I'll um, put some specs of it down the bottom of the screen, something like that. You want to look into it. Look, I'll be honest, I don't know that much about it. I'm actually quite intrigued by it. Um, I know it's a very popular club on the Japanese domestic market, and it's it looks like it's pretty good quality. Um, yeah, the grip. Yeah, grip itself's not too bad. Um, actually, what's really good is the actual the head cover. That is quite a good head cover. Now, I'm not too sure how old this is. I think it's only a year and a half old. But I looked online, and the cheapest I saw this for something that was a little bit more banged up was about $200. Um, now, know that it's not a huge club on the Australian market, but I found in America, Korea, and obviously Japan on a lot of their websites. This was still going for about 400 US. So, yeah, I'm not too sure, but I'm happy to get out there and give it a hit. Um, it's just got a bunch of serial numbers on there. It's obviously not adjustable, so it's not adjustable there, so um, quite old school. Um, but yeah, it's an Atua AD DI-7X shaft. Now, I think that's a $100 shaft, so I'm not too sure, 100 or 200, whatever. Um, comment below if you know more than me, which you probably will. But um, yeah, so this will be part one. This is the unboxing itself. I've swapped this for my Mizuno MP37s, which was three on three pitching wedge. They're in average condition. I think it's a fair swap because I actually did want to try this driver out. You know, the, but the club itself, it's it's in mint condition. I cannot fault it for a used club. The head crown, it looks like it's brand new. The grip itself is really good quality. Um, I'll bring it over there for you to give it a little look. So here we have the head. 
two way to the back. The crown, so look at that, it's in perfect condition. The shaft itself, let's turn it around. Here we have that, turn it to my white t shirt out of the way. The grip, but all in all, I'm happy with that, guys. So, this is part one. Part two will be with me uh, down the range or somewhere. I'm gonna maybe I'll do a comparable video. I don't have GC2 or any kind of that computer crap, so. What I might do is uh, have maybe 10 balls. I might use five Pro V ones, another five Pro V ones, but I might put a black dot on one and see how they perform against my Mizuno JPEX right now. Um, I'm hitting the JPEX quite well. I don't really want to change, but I actually was quite intrigued with how this goes. It'd be good to have a, another driver in the bag occasionally if I want to give it a go. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below if there's anything you want to know about the club um, or if you anything you know that I don't, let me know. Um, I'm not really that much into the science and of clubs, so I'm always still learning myself. That's why I kind of like posting this video, so you can tell me as much as I can tell you, or even better. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. I'll give it a go, part two. Look out, we'll, uh, we'll use, uh, what do you call it, the um, thingy with the lines. Uh, whatever the fuck it's called, oh, I can't remember, sorry. Um, we'll do some, uh, we'll see what type of ball flights I'm getting with it, compared to the Mizuno, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.